The beauty of the biomass boiler we've got is that you can put a whole tree wood chip in it. So we can take the thinnings from a, an old plantation like this, this ash block here, put, put the thinnings straight through the chipper and take it off. It can be dried and uh, we, we get it back as, uh, as perfect chip. Alternatively, uh, here we've got a 20-year-old, roughly 20-year-old plantation uh, that will need thinning out to let the trees grow and mature properly. Um, and these will make perfect, uh, perfect fuel for whole tree chipping as well. So it starts in the woodland. You can also get wood chip from hedgerow trimmings that are then dried down or pallets with staples and nails removed or just take seasoned cord lengths and chip it. This could be done on farm if you get a contractor along, if you've got the space to do it. Otherwise, we've got a, a processing facility seven miles away that delivers with this walking floor trailer. Um, that's then loaded in the bay. We've opted for a top loader mechanism. That seems to be the best because all the mechanism is above the store. If you go for a walking floor uh, feed system or a um, sweeping arm feed system, all the mechanism is under several tons of wood chip and harder to maintain. Uh, that then rakes into a cross auger, which on demand turns and just loads the feed system to the boiler on demand. The chip comes across the cross auger, drops down into a pit, comes up a dosy auger, drops down through a cell wheel, which chops up any big bits, but also creates an air brake to stop fire from burning back in that eventuality. Uh, and then up the uh, stoking auger into the furnace. There are two dousing points for water to flood the system if they sense that the temperature's gone up and we got burned back up the auger. This is the main furnace where the chip is coming into. And we can have a look in here. To prevent the blowback, you hold on for 10 seconds. Let a bit of the draft in. This the automatic sensor's knocked out the electrics. Um, it'll come up as a fault, but we can reignite that no problem. There's a walking floor which takes the ash back off the, uh, the main area of the fire and then it will drop below uh, to hit an auger which takes the ash up into an ash wheelie bin. All fully automated. The furnace is heating the hot water here that is circulated around the building to this massive 10,000 litre buffer tank that stores that heat for when we need it and then it is circulated down through these pipes and to the rest of the site. We also have a backup uh, diesel fired boiler which thankfully we haven't had to use uh, too often but that is in case of uh, emergencies we run out of chip or uh, we, we just need a bit of a boost. We're here at the production unit which makes cheese and bread uh, and this is the hot water cylinder which provides all the hot water to wash down and, and so on. We've got the biomass being fed here via a low loss header. The closed loop is coming in at 90 degrees going down and into the uh, 1000 litre hot water storage tank um, and then it comes out of here having dumped some of the heat at 80 degrees to be returned back to the low loss header and then ultimately the biomass boiler. In here we've got our return loop from the hot water system uh, coming in here feeding the cold water in and then hot water out. The boiler circuit feeds this plate heat exchanger which is then on the second circuit to a low loss header which has five ports in it sending heat to the cheese fats, the pasteuriser, the hot water system, the air handling unit and then the cleaning system for the cheese. This plate heat exchanger is really simple. The biomass heat comes through it and here we have a cold water mains feed that goes in and comes out hot. That then feeds across to the parlour's hot water tank so that we're washing down and sterilising, cleaning everything in the parlour from that big hot water tank that is supplied by the biomass boiler. This box here is replacing two um, 
boilers, former boilers that were fired on oil. Uh, it is just like a combi boiler. It has the heat coming in from the biomass boiler which is then uh, put through a couple of plate heat exchangers. It's called a heat interface unit. Uh, one mains feed heats the water and then a closed loop does the underfloor heating.